Welcome to H2I Group's series detailing common issues with your universal laser system. Let's get started. ULS machines work by using a UV beam from the laser tube that travels through various optics before reaching your engraving surface. If the laser performance is poor, it could be due to an issue with these optics. Before we begin, it's important to have the proper tools, including your ULS lens cleaning and ULS cotton swabs. We'll start by examining the basic optics of the machine. The first one we'll check is the beam window, located in the back left corner of the ULS bed. This connects directly to the laser firing tube and is the first place to check for issues. Clean the glass of the window gently with the lens cleaner and check for scratches and or cracks that could be affecting the laser's performance. Next, we'll look at the number two mirror located under the cover of the X-arm. Remove the thumb screw and gently push the cover to the right towards the X-arm to reveal the mirror. Clean the mirror surface with the lens cleaner and check for any signs of wear. Let's move on to the number three mirror and focus lens, located on the carriage and held by three thumb screws. After removing the screws, gently clean both sides of the lens and mirror while checking for signs of wear. The laser beam should be bouncing through all the lenses and mirrors until it's focused on your material. However, this beam can sometimes get out of alignment for various reasons. Let's also do a basic alignment test to make sure everything is in place. First, turn on the red dot pointer from the laser tube under the Universal Control Panel's Alignment tab in the Settings window. Check that the laser pointer is coming from the beam window into the number two mirror. You should be able to see it hitting the mirror with the naked eye. If it's hitting the number two mirror properly, Move the carriage to the bottom left corner of the machine and place a piece of masking tape over the carriage beam hole. The red dot should be visible near the middle of the hole. It doesn't need to be perfect, but it should be relatively close to the corners of the machine. Repeat this process for all the other corners. A slight movement and the red dot's position is okay, as long as the machine is consistently hitting the number three mirror. In conclusion, Proper maintenance and care of your ULS machine's optics is essential for optimal laser performance. By following the steps outlined in this guide, you can identify and fix simple problems with your laser. However, if these troubleshooting steps don't solve the issue, it's best to seek help from a professional to avoid causing further damage to your machine. Remember, a little bit of preventive maintenance goes a long way in keeping your ULS machine running smoothly and producing high quality results.